Prime Minister Narendra Modi is visiting the state of Maharashtra today. Prime Minister, who's reached Nagpur for his day long tour, flagged off the sixth Vande Bharat Express, which will connect Nagpur to Bilaspur. Prime Minister also inaugurated Nagpur Metro Phase 1. He's dedicated this to the nation, while he's also done the stone laying foundation of Phase 2 of the Metro project. Prime Minister also unveiled Phase 1 of India's longest expressway, the Samruddhi Mahamarg, which will connect Nagpur with Shedi. Prime Minister has also dedicated aims at Nagpur to the nation. From inaugurating rail projects worth 1500 crore rupees to laying the foundation stones of the National Institute of One Health, Prime Minister also dedicated projects worth 75,000 crores to the state. Prime Minister will also be addressing a function at the 9th World Ayurveda Congress in Goa. Apart from that, he will also inaugurate the Mopa International Airport in Goa. My colleague Mustafa is now joining me on the story. Mustafa, we are seeing how one after the other, there are many projects which are lined up for the Prime Minister. He's already inaugurated a few. He will also inaugurate other projects also. How important do you think these projects are for the state of Maharashtra? Well, it is indeed very important and after this, uh, we are, uh, currently we are at Ames Nagpur. Uh, Prime Minister is likely to speak in a few minutes. After this project, he will be doing foundation uh, laying ceremony of a few more uh, places like of, Mar uh, of Nagpur uh, Metro Phase 2 and there is a river cleaning project which is going to take place in Nagpur and many other such projects which are going to be inaugurated and also the stone laying uh, ceremony of that. But at the same time, uh, we heard the Prime, uh, uh, Chief Minister Ekna Chinde speaking and he said that it was a dream project for him and acquiring land for this project was very important and it wouldn't have happened without centre's support. So that was very important and he has said that this uh, uh, Samruti Mahamar will be a game changer in Maharashtra because it will be connecting several districts in Maharashtra and will go on from Nagpur to uh, Mumbai and it will bring the development from JNPT ports towards Nagpur, towards Maratwara region which are considered to be a ba the backward regions in the state. So it's a game changer according to the Chief Minister and they are saying that even hosting G20 in Mumbai is something of, of which they are proud of, the country is proud of and they have asked for support of Prime Minister for future projects. Back to you. Well, Mustafa, one of the things which is very important to note here is the fact of the double engine government. Now, we are seeing the centre, Prime Minister himself, now taking very keen interest in the development of Maharashtra, and this will also be crucial for the big 2024 elections which will take place in the state. Well, of course, Maharashtra has been of interest of Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, since for a long time because uh, remember that the bullet train project, which is uh, the Prime Minister's dream project, connects uh, Ahmedabad to Mumbai. And uh, in between, in the last two and a half years, when the government had changed in Maharashtra, it was uh, some, uh, it was a you know setback for that uh, bullet train project. And now, after the government is back on track, this bullet train project again started from Ahmedabad to Mumbai. So clearly, uh, uh, Prime Minister has taken interest in, uh, in Maharashtra and uh, Ditin Gadkari who is a leader from Nagpur, he being a union minister, he being in the centre has always taken special interest in developing Nagpur. Uh, Nagpur is first and has a Guinness Book of World Record to having a multi-use road which is a metro and uh, uh, the flyover bridges for road running on the same bridge. So these are things which have been done in Nagpur and infrastructure development is being done but clearly after the change in government all these projects have gotten better potential and speed. Back to you. Thank you, Mustafa, for joining me with all those details. Now, what you see on the screens are the projects which have been inaugurated today by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the state of Maharashtra. Projects worth 75,000 crore rupees. Very crucial state for the Bharatiya Janata Party now, Maharashtra. And we did see how both the ministers, the Chief Minister Eknath Shinde, Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Padnavis, were on the side with the Prime Minister, you see the visuals there. Prime Minister took the metro, the Nagpur metro. He spoke with the students. He even travelled with them. He also flagged off. He also flagged off the sixth Monday Bharat train from Nagpur railway station. So all eyes now on the infrastructure projects which will take place in the state of Maharashtra and those screens that you see, those five screens are telling you the kind of infrastructure push that is being given 
to the state of Maharashtra by the central government. The double engine government is what this is being called. The center now giving funds and also making sure that there are a lot of infrastructure projects which take off. Prime Minister there, flagging of the Vande Bharat Express. Indian made trains, Prime Minister believes in the next one year there will be 75 such trains. We also saw how he did the inauguration of one of the longest expressways also in the state of Maharashtra. Prime Minister is expected to speak in about a couple of minutes from now. The Samruddhi Mahamark has been launched. This will be the longest expressway in the country. Also, he has inaugurated AIMS in Nagpur. He's given AIMS to the people of Nagpur. So, a slew of projects inaugurated by the PM.